Welcome to The Daily Devo. My name is Jeremy, and today, let's talk about what meekness really is. I liken the kingdom of God to the kingdom of opposites. Today, we will see how we achieve success is often the opposite of how you achieve success in this world. Early believers didn't call themselves Christians. That's something that other people called them to mock them. They called themselves followers of the way. Path terminology is scattered all throughout scripture. It's a way that biblical authors wrote to explain to us that we are either on the path of Jesus or on the path of this world. We either walk according to the way of Jesus or we walk according to the way of this world. In Matthew chapter 5, Jesus shows us the way that we are to live. There is a behavior followed up with an outcome. And today, we're going to look at Matthew chapter 5 and verse 5. So, let's read this together. The verse says, Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Some of us struggle with the idea of meekness, especially men. We equate meekness with being weak. But that's not really what it is. There are only two people in the Bible who were called meek, Moses and Jesus. Obviously, neither of those two were weak. Rather, let's look at meekness as strength under control. Jesus had all this power, but he only used it for the betterment of this world and the kingdom of God. And in John 10, 18, Jesus says, No one can take my life, but I lay it down willingly. And to prove it, not that he needed to, but in John chapter 18, when the Roman soldier came to take Jesus, they asked if he was Jesus, and he said, I am he. And they all fell to the ground. Strength under control. Jesus submitted himself to the will of the Father and laid his life down willingly. If you and I are honest with ourselves, our natural response and inclination is not meekness. It's to lash out. It's to get revenge. It's to be seen as in the right by others. And to be meek, we must walk in the way of Jesus. We must discipline our fleshly desires. We must trust in God and that his way is higher than our way. Meekness is saying that the Lord is my vindicator, even when I feel slighted. Meekness is casting our care on him rather than carrying it ourselves. Meekness is waiting on God rather than trying to make something happen on our own. Meekness breaks the cycle of violence. Whenever we respond evil to evil, violent with violence, we create larger issues. And one of the larger issues of today is a lack of meekness. People live with unrestrained power. As followers of Jesus, we're called to live and be an example of another way. The last part of this verse says that we inherit the earth. This proves that God will not allow his people to get the short end of the stick. As a follower of Jesus, we know he is a soon and coming king. Our Savior will return and we will reign with him. Today, think about an area where you've been living unrestrained. Take some time and ask God to help you. Thanks for joining us today on The Daily Devo. Thank you.